YouTube Madden Squad was popping. As you can see, it's still Christmas Day, right? I'm in the same garb, but we are starting the pack and play saga, all right? So we're going to go and we're going to buy that 9 times 0 chill fantasy bundle that also gives you the 90 overall Super Bowl MVP. So we're investing in the future of pack and play right now. But I hope you enjoy because I know I will. Let's run. What's poppin'? Who you a Brand new whip, just, just hopped in. I got oh, options. I can pass that like one. Stockton. Just joshing. I'm spending this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top 10. I can put the ball in the end zone, put a bad in the friend zone. Sound like an All right, so here we are. It's the same account we had just recording that video. But we're gonna we're gonna hop on this bundle. I know I would have hopped on this bundle on the main account, so you know, if we're going to start doing pack play, we might as well hop on it here. 99 overall Super Bowl MVP. Can't complain about that. That's the dream right there. And now, we also have 10 packs to go through. And these are fantasy packs. So they're going to set us up with a little bit better of a team to work with. Let's see. And, and I think what we're going to do, just so we don't get confused, is we're going to insert every player into the starting lineup. That way we know, right? So like we, we pulled a bunch of Tyler Basses that are giveaways. We're just gonna insert him right into the lineup right there. That way we don't get the giveaways confused with the back in place. So now we've got nine zero chill fantasy packs to go through. An elite in the first round, that's what we need, baby. We need those all up and down. Let's go two elites in the first round. All right, we got a running back as well. And we are starting at a little bit of an advantage, right? Because our team's not all of the bronze players that everyone normally starts with. Lights. Psych! Oh, are these zero chill fantasy packs heat? Uh, I will need a defensive tackle, so, uh, so I'm gonna take that. Not a big card. Lights again. 91 Mo Lewis. Okay, okay. Unless this is a beast, we're taking Mo. Yeah, I don't need another kicker. There's no point in that. Not for pack and play. So, Les, you're gonna be our starting right tackle. And I think what we might do is because we're probably going to have a lot of a lot of leftover cards that won't make the team after every single pack and play episode so we'll turn those into training so some pack and play episodes will be doing coin packs if we win a game some will be doing training rolls i think we're going to pull uh out of position dk as well and maybe a bo jackson maybe maybe i'm crazy but i feel like there's some good pulls stop the cap <laughs> Upgrade to the starting running back, Chris Carson. A good wide receiver. Let's go. All right. So we want one, two, three, and four elites. That's all we want to see. We just we just want a team full of elite players. We have our starting quarterback, and uh, we're actually going to take the 80 overall with an ability. Lights, camera. No, not again. Uh, who do we take? I guess I guess we just take training, right? That's what that's what would make sense. Uh, we'll quick sell you and you and you and you and you. All right, zero chill fantasy box. Seven of them left, and we're gonna get a 99 Pat Mahomes. Ah, excuse me, Super Bowl MVP. Who knows? I have no idea who's gonna win Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, Aaron Donald power up. Not the worst thing in the world. So we're gonna take one, two, three, four. The highest overalls being elite, 82 Marlon Humphrey, Fulgi, Deacon Jones. We'll take Deacon Jones and Humphrey. McGlinchey, hey, hey. Oh, Carson Wentz, though. That's that's our quarterback. Let's go. But I can't I can't worry about that. I can't. We right now we just gotta pull the best cards that we can pull to start that back and play team. 80 overall, 78, 79, 78. Sounds like a deal to me. Now I'm gonna have to go do some pack and play research. 84 Lynn Bowden. I'm gonna go have to do my pack and play research because I don't know if I'm allowed to do like sets with the things that I pull from the packs to, to put that in my lineup. You know what I'm saying? 89 Shelby Harris. Excellent, excellent. Questionably by the end of this episode, better than the no money spent team already. <laughs> oh God, what am I doing? There's Lynn Bowden again, an elite, another Orlando Brown that we'll take just for training purposes. 
Micah Hyde can be a nice backup for me, and Shady McCoy also a backup. We'll take it, we'll take it. We don't care about those. Those were bad animations. Um, we did, did we take, no, we didn't take McGlinchey. Okay, so that, that means we're going to want Rob at right tackle. Elites, we're de oh, definitely taking 85 to Castro. No doubt about it. And an 84 tight end too, let's go, baby. All right, so we got two starters in that first round right there. That's pretty nasty. And a, a starting wide receiver. Oof. Oof. 85, Eric Kendricks, who just got an upgrade. Bo Jackson just got an upgrade. Cody Whitehair. Uh, I guess we take him. So this is weird now because do we do we take because it's a fantasy pack, right? And we're not going to normally do, be doing fantasy packs for pack and play. I wouldn't imagine. Do we take the position we need, or do you just pick high overall? This is there's an internal struggle. There's a backup quarterback. Uh, yeah, we want the highest possible cards, I suppose. 88 Pat Queen will take Josh Allen. Take Josh Allen for the resale value because we will need coins. We will need them to, to do packs later. So resale value cards are not going to be the worst thing on this account. So maybe, maybe we do go high overall and we just wait until we pull a really good uh, player at a certain position rather than taking like oh, the 83 over an 87 or an 88. Maybe that's what we do. 82... I was really worried that I took the animation and it was going to be a full. See, I'm not talking it this time. Another 82. What a bummer. Frank Ragnow and Grady Jarrett. Nice. Pull the, pull the 82 campus hero. Don't even need it for pack and play. <laughs> uh, this is the first time we're running through. Give me a good one. Come on. 85 LJ Fort. I guess we take an 85 center. We don't have anyone for that position yet. So we'll throw. I'm fat. Oh, I should have picked Young Blood. I'm literally the round before. Literally the round before, bro. Oh, Sage. Last pack, and then we're gonna go put the final lineup together. See what it looks like. I'll, I'll cut to that for you guys. I'm not gonna make you watch me pick which players are gonna play on this team. That would be boring. Legends piece, an 89 wide receiver. Let's go. All right, so that's we want that one for sure. And then I guess we take Anthony Harris. Rising star could be worth it, you know? Sean Murphy bunting, okay? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we're off to a hot, hot start for pack and play. And we, we've got a, we have a 99 just sitting there waiting, you know, for later on. Eat, eat. All right, so the team is complete. We'll take a quick look, and we're out. Offense looks good. We got Carson Wentz, who's you know, as far as pack and play goes, we're fine with that at quarterback. I don't think we're really trying to scheme too much. Decent wide receiver core. Offensive line is good, except for the left side. You know, we got a center and left guard and stuff like that. A little weak. And then on the defense, solid defensive line, solid secondary linebacker core. The defense is really looking kind of clean aside from the fact that we don't have an actual left end um but you know things things pretty good for for the first the first set it up the next time we see back play it will be gameplay and then we'll see what we can do from there but i'm, I'm loving it so far i'm loving y'all deuces Jordan,